Hello, Robert here, coming to you from the Gotland coastline. I got the opportunity to do this video for fly dressing. It is a video about the OPRO rod mount. I'm gonna show how to use it with the standard belt attachment that comes with it. Also, in this video, I will show you how you will be able to adapt this so you can fit it with any GoPro accessory, which makes it super versatile. If you are someone that already have, have this product and only want to see the, the part how to make the GoPro adaption part, I'll leave the timestamps down below. So the rod mount works like this, that you have a safety strap that you remove, you put in your rod, snaps into place, then you also have this safety strap to keep it in place. From the package, it has an attachment system that makes it suitable for thick belts all the way down to very thin belts. So you have this safety strap that goes around and also locks in this belt attachment. So you cannot just pull it off the belt, which is very smart. Uh, the belt, can f it can fit belts up to maybe, maybe six centimeters or so. And then it has uh, some slots here which you can fit in if you have a very thin belt as well. So it, it's not very fiddly or loose when you have a small belt. So that's very clever. Two options to be able to mount it right there. Apart from making fishing videos on YouTube, I also am a fishing guide. So you can just imagine the wear that something like this gets of the two years of usage. I have it in my belt and I sit on it, scratched it against stuff and the function of it is perfect after two years, which is incredible for such a small product like this. Really, really good. Every day when I go out, I put out on my waders and I go out and wade in the water. So I'm not kind of the boat fishing guy. <laughs> I'm more the wade fishing person. Uh, but this opened the opportunity for me to be able to wear more than one rod at a time. So on my non-casting arm which is this side i mounted another one on the side of the backpack like this so you can see here i've attached it in a vertical strap that i have on my backpack if you don't have a, something that is vertical like this it's not really an issue either because you're able to twist this rod mount into any position so you can touch it the way you want the possibility i see here is that if you're someone that is like fishing with dry fly and wearing a nymph fishing rod you can even attach it on your shoulder pad so you have it up here and you're able to switch very easily and access it if you change very frequently it's very reachable from behind here as well as you've seen in some of my fishing videos on my channel where I fish with a floating line for example if I want to change to a sinking line I just reach back swap the rods and put it into place and I'm ready to fish with a completely different setup. So we have come to the tank twister, that is how to use the OPRO rod mount with any GoPro accessory. Now I modified this rod attachment to be able to mount it on the GoPro accessories. So you see here that I have a GoPro clip underneath and I have two ways that I use this. I use the same for both solutions. It's very easy when you have the clip to just remove it and put it in the other one. I have one attachment inside my car, which is perfect when I rig my rod and uh, tie on my flies and stuff, that I have it in a secure way and it doesn't gonna fall, fall over or break. That's a perfect usage for this. Then I also remove it and have it in the summertime. I do some boat fishing or driving of boat and in a very small boat, this can be a really handy tool to mount your rod in a safe way during transportation. So I just have it clipped, as you see here in the short clip, on the side of the boat and lays perfectly along the side of the boat, like uh, out of uh, risk of breaking it, which is perfect. One little bummer about this GoPro solution is that when I, when I heard it, I thought it was one of these, you know, basic rod clamps that come with any GoPro camera included. 
when you purchase it. So <laughs> many people have this laying around at home already. But unfortunately, that's not the thing that you attach on the back of this, this old pro mount. But I will show you a way to work around this as well. So you are able to use this, any version of it. When you look at the OPRO rod mount, you have a screw here in the middle, which you unscrew and take away this back plate. And in that screw hole, you use the same screw and screw in one of these GoPro clips. So as you see, this one looks a bit different. It comes from this gooseneck uh, attachment. This is a GoPro Originals thing, and this is the one that you want to use. This is the, the one that fits perfectly as it is with the, with the rod mount. Unfortunately, you need to get this as it is. I looked on the GoPro website for all the accessories. I looked through the whole thing. And this is the cheapest one that I could see had this attachment. And as you know, these accessories from GoPro, they're really not price worthy. They're quite expensive. So it adds up quite a lot to be able to purchase something like this to be able to fit it. So that was kind of a bummer, but that's the way I solved it here. As I said, most of the GoPro cameras come with these small clips that is not functioning with this rod mount as they are but you can easily modify these to be able to fit them so you don't have to go and buy a GoPro original um, part to be able to mount this. The way you can do to use one of these attachments is okay now this is not gonna be pretty you can do it better at home but if you just break these arms off you're able to make your own kind of solution okay now i <laughs> now it was not very easy to do how to in place but these you probably have at home or they're super cheap so you bend or break these okay let's see if i can fix this without any blood spilled Oosh. Yeah, what I do for you guys, but here you see I have it removed and if you just drill a hole here in the middle that the screw can go through, I have a done kit here with a GoPro attachment, easy as that. If you have the screw to a little bit to the looser end, you're able to rotate the position or so. But what this means for opportunities, one obvious thing is these also GoPro original. These are very cheap with like a really strong tape underneath. You can just clip it in. And this is what I use in both the boat and in the car. Another neat accessory from GoPro that you can use is this clip. So you just slide it on like the other one. This you can snap clamp on to a backpack or the side of the boat or whatever you can come up to. And then this is also magnetized. So you can snap it onto the side of the car or so. Really, really good. So again, thank you Flag Racing for the opportunity to make this video super good tool to be able to mount your rod while you take while you tie a knot or when you're handling a fish to mount it in your car or your boat this is the first like gear video <laughs> basically that we ever done on this channel so let me know if you want to see any more gear videos in the future subscribe to the channel there's lots of fly tying videos coming out Thanks for watching.